I shall read to you today continuously from Paper Puzzle Chapter 1, Dream, Newspaper, Newspaper Men, page 11. River North Country Club, a gated golf and tennis community, complete with a security guard, a drawbridge, and of all things, a medieval moat. Who would have figured to find a medieval moat existing in the middle of Pine Tree Country in the heart of Dixie? The moat is necessary to gain safe passage across a small portion of the Old Mogi River running through the subdivision. The developer made good use of the Old Old Mogi River. Old Mogi means muddy waters in the language of the Creek Nation who settled the area 10,000 years before a band of white settlers marched their way up from the Atlantic coast in a reverse Sherman-esque maneuver. The waters of the Old Mogi River, though muddy, are sacred. The first Christian baptism in North America took place under its torrent when two priests, traveling with Hernando de Soto in 1540, baptized two natives. De Soto, not finding the much sought after fountain of youth, moved on, leaving the culture he found intact. The white settlers in 1806 erected a fort overlooking the Okmogi River and within 17 years organized the city of Macon. Before the city fathers surrendered to Union General George Stoneman in 1863, they had overtaken 10,000 years of Creek civilization. Save for a small plot of land containing traditional burial grounds, there is no longer any evidence the Creek ever inhabited the area. This is what civilization does. It destroys what once existed and replaces it with something different from the old and the current, something new, something the old civilization had rejected or did not think to do because it didn't flow with their sense of culture. It wasn't that the materials used in Western civilization didn't exist in the world of the Creek. They did. No one in the Creek culture conceived the Western way of life as a practical form of reality. River North was the first development of its kind in Georgia. It is, as they say, not a bad place for the managing editor of the largest daily newspaper in central Georgia to live.